see a lot of familiar faces and many new ones as well. Uh, it's great to come out and, uh, and, and meet all the candidates, and I'm, I'm pleased to be able to have a couple minutes to chat with you. A uh, couple of reasons why I'm running for state senator. First and foremost, I want you to understand that uh, you know what you get with me. I'm a true conservative. I decided to run for uh, state senator for many of the same reasons why I decided to run for state representative. It's because this is a cause. This is a conservative cause for a government based on conservative values and to rein in, in particular, the crazy spending that we have going on on Beacon Hill. And as your state representative, that's what I've, what I've put first and foremost on my agenda. I see a couple of my colleagues here. Um, there's, there's a good battalion up there. We used to have a, a, a small, uh, small troop, I guess, uh, within the, the last decade or so, but now we've got a battalion up there, Republicans on Beacon Hill. They're fighting hard to take the state in a different direction. And just by, <clears throat> just by having a couple more voices, we're starting to make it happen. Now, a couple things that I've proposed as your state representative. When you sent me to Beacon Hill, you know, I promised that I would, uh, that I would continue to take the state in a different direction. First and foremost, we're reigning in crazy spending. And we've been fighting that. We're starting to slow the growth in spending. And the next step, of course, is starting to cut it and refocus our priorities on the things that matter most. I see a lot of the, the candidates for state rep out there nodding their heads and they know exactly what's going on up there. Watching those numbers rise every single year. We spent more money than we did in the last year. And it's got to end. Having more Republicans, more balance, definitely starts to, to make that happen. The other reasons I decided to run for state senator are because I, I saw a critical need for more balance in the state senate. I have a, Mer a Merrimack Valley specific plan that I've put together. Uh, you can check it out on my website, votepauladams.com. Um, I believe in reining in, um, rolling back, and restoring. And I'll explain that just real briefly. I believe we should rein in the crazy spending. And second, and refocus our priorities on the things, first and foremost, locally, that we feel are most important. Paying our teachers, paying the cops, paving our streets. Things that are common sense, that have gone unnoticed for so long. Uh, the incumbent, Barry Feingold, voted for $500 million in, uh, in, in local aid cuts, and then turned around about six months ago and said, that was one of the biggest mistakes that he ever made. Well, I don't think he would be calling that a mistake if he had somebody running against him. Every year he was trying to run for re-election and holding his feet to the fire. So I think that if we have people who are constantly challenging these guys, and this is a seat that we can pick up this year, that things are, are, are starting to change. Now, the other, the other reasons I'm running are to roll back the anti-growth tax rates that we've got. In particular, here in the Mac, Merrimack Valley, we have a sales tax rate, which is now 6.25%. Just a couple of years ago, that was 5%. And as a result, you've had dozens of businesses that went across the border to New Hampshire. And, and you also have, which, which I think is uh, many times goes unnoticed, is you have the large industrial suppliers and manufacturers here in the Merrimack Valley who provide business throughout the, uh, throughout the nation. Uh, I was speaking with one guy just the other day uh, who, who does millions of dollars in business in sales to places like North Carolina, Florida, California, uh, and sells, uh, sells industrial supplies. And he's losing a lot of that business because now those suppliers have to pay 25% uh, more than they used to. And the other reasons I'm running are because uh, we need to restore uh, uh, local aid, which I mentioned earlier, and then uh, and, and uh, also restore a good climate for the private sector to create jobs and to stay here and expand here. Um, the economy is first and foremost on, on everyone's minds. Uh, my commitment to you is to rein in the spending, allow the private sector to see that government is, is tightening its belt uh, just as they have over the last couple of years, and that it will continue to do so. And when you have consistency in leadership, consistency in policy, whether it's taxes, regulation, these are the things that our job creators are looking for. And as we, con as we continue to move this state in a different direction, then, uh, then I, I have confidence that they'll stay here. This is what they're telling me. So you, again, you know what you get with me. I'm a real conservative. I mean what I say and I say what I mean. And I'll continue to fight for the things that I, I think will give us consistency, uh, a, a government based on conservative values, the principles of economic freedom, the things that I hold near and dear to my heart are my conservative values. I was raised in, in a religious, uh, conservative family. Uh, at the end of the day, whether you're a politician or not, you know, you've, you've got to know who you are, and that, that, uh, that I, I believe, is, is the crux of who I am as an individual. Uh, and I would be very grateful for your consideration uh, in, in this, uh, this primary coming up on Thursday, September 6th. Uh, my opponent and I, who all, I, I think is a good man, uh, we're both running against Barry Feingold. Uh, but I think, however, that there's one candidate that can beat Barry Feingold, and that's me. And I'll tell you why. In my race for state representative, uh, I received 
more votes than Barry did in, in almost every single precinct where we overlap. Thank you, Jameson. I'll be very brief. Uh, we're in nearly every single precinct where we overlap in Andover and Tewksbury. I'm also the only candidate who's competitive in the city of Lawrence. Um, I received 42% of the vote in my five precincts in the city of Lawrence. The demographics and the registration match up pretty evenly citywide. Uh, we work extremely hard. And I speak fluent Spanish and Portuguese. And we'll continue to knock all those doors and, and speak with the business owners and speak with everybody who, uh, who, who votes. And again, uh, my name is Paul Adams. I serve currently as your state rep. I would love to be your state senator. And I very humbly ask for your consideration on, on September 6th.